Welcome to Maths TV. Today we will be going through IGCSC Mathematics 0580-23 May June 2017. Welcome to Maths TV. Today we will be going through Mathematics Extended Paper 2 0580-23 May June 2017. Question number 1. This is calculator based question. We have to calculate. We will type this 1 over 2 into 1 minus cos of 48 bracket close and this other bracket also we will close and this will be equal to 0 0.0.402. Zero point four zero six, and we can copy here zero point four zero six seven three six six four three one. This is this is the complete uh, number on the calculator. So up to three significant figures, we can write four zero seven. This will be our answer. Then next question number two, we have to factorize completely. We'll take common, like for example, from both sides. 4 we can take common and x also we can take common so this will be remaining will be x minus 2y and this will be our answer we can write here 4x into x minus 2y this will be our answer then question number 3 find the lowest common multiple lcm of 20 and 24 so we can write 20 and 24 we will use by Devian method so Devian method will be uh, with 2 this will be 10 and this will be 12 next again by dividing by 2 this will be 5 and this will be 6 and then again by 2 this 5 as it is and this will be 3 then by 3 this will be 5 and 1 and next by 5 this will be 1 and this will be 1 now we will multiply this 2 into 2 into 2 3 times into 3 into 5 and if we multiply these numbers uh, 2 into 2 into 2 3 times and multiply by 3 multiply by 5 this will be equal to 120 so our answer will be 120. Make A as subject which is question number 4 so uh, a as subject so a is over here so x we can uh, shift y first so it will be x minus y is equal to uh, square root of a and then we will be taking square on both sides to get rid of this uh, root this root and square will be cancelled so x minus y whole square will be equal to a this will be our answer x minus y whole square and question number 5, calculate the volume of hemisphere with radius 3.2 cm. Radius is given and formula is also given, but the formula is for sphere. So we have to divide this into 2 so that we can get hemisphere. So volume is equal to, uh, volume is equal to 1 by 2 of what? 1 by 2 of this one, 4 by 3 pi into r cube and r is given 3.2 this value is given so we can take r cube and bracket close and this will be 2 twos are 4 so this will be 2 by 3 pi and 3.2 cube and this one we can calculate by the help of calculator 2 divided by 3 um, pi will be this one and into 3.2 and raised to the power 3 so this will be equal to 68.629 68.629 and we will round it to 68.63 this will be our answer centimeter cubes then question number six <coughs> Question number six, the probability that uh, Pedro 
scores a goal in any match is 2 by 5. Calculate the probability that this person scores a goal in each of the next two matches. So for one it will be first match it will be 2 by 5 and the second also 2 by 5. So we'll multiply these two we'll get 4 over 25. So this will be 4 over 25 as answer. Then y is inversely proportional to x square. This is question number 7. So y is inversely proportional to x square. So we'll write 1 over x square. This means y is equal to k over x square. So this is the proportionality constant which we have added. Now we can replace these two given values. y is equal to 8 and k over x is equal to 2, so 2 square. So this implies k is equal to 8 into 2 square will be 4. So this is equal to 32 and find y in terms of x. So this value of k we have to replace over here. So y will be equal to 32 over x square. This will be our answer 32 over x squared. We can copy over here. Then comes next simplify question number 8 simplify 8 over this uh, so what we can do we can write as 2 8 we can write 2 raised to 3 and whole raised to 1 by 3 this one and denominator we can write a raised to 12 into 1 by 3 which is the this um, power so 3 will be cancelled with 3 3 will be cancelled with this one as 4 so this will be numerator will be 2 and denominator will be a raised to the power 4. So our answer will be 2 divided by a raised to the power 4. This will be our answer. Question number 9. GH is given 6. This is basically matrix question. 5 GH. So we have to just multiply 5 into 6 and minus 4. So this will be multiplied by this, which is 30, and this will be multiplied by this, which is minus 20. This will be our answer. We can copy over here, 30 and minus 20. This will be our answer. Then HG. HG is always like just multiply by minus 1 to GH. So you can write HG is equal to minus GH, which is equal to minus into 6 and minus 4 and change sign. So this will be minus 6 and 4. And this will be minus six and my uh, minus six and four will be our answer. Then we have to find the value of y in b part. So six plus two we can uh, write it as basically we'll be adding the matrix. Six plus two will be eight, and this will be seven plus y. And this is this side which we are adding, and this is equal to eight and three. And then when we can equalize them. 7 plus y is equal to 3. 7 plus y is equal to 3. It means y is equal to 3 minus 7. So y is equal to minus 4. So our answer will be minus 4 over here. Then comes question number 10. The three angles in a triangle are 5x, 6x and 7x and find the value of x. Basically we know that interior angles of a triangle are adding up to 180 degrees so we can write 6x plus 7x plus 5x is equal to 180 degree so 6 plus 7 will be 13 13 plus 5 will be 18 so 18x is equal to 180 degree divide by 18 divide by 18 both sides this will be cancelled this will be 10 so x will be equal to 10 degrees so 10 degrees x value then B part, work out the size of the largest angle in the triangle. Largest angle is this one because this is 7 into x, this is 6 and this is 5, so this is the largest. So we can write 7x which is equal to 7 multiplied by 10 which is equal to 7 degrees, so 70 degrees. We can write here 70 degrees. Question number 11, this is uh, uh, shading basically linear programming we have to shade the unwanted regions so we'll go through these equations first equation is x is greater than or equal to zero which is wanted these equations are wanted regions but we have to shade the unwanted regions so if this is wanted 
unwanted will be x is less than 0 less than 0 will be this side so we can x is less than 0 we can put scale over here and then shade this part so this is basically unwanted region which we have shaded then x plus y is greater than equal to 7 so we can uh, write it in uh, y is equal to mx plus c format x will be shifting to other, other side so y is greater than equal to minus x plus 7 so we will check this is plus 7 is uh, basically y intercept so 7 is this one so this is the line which we have identified for this equation so greater than y is uh, greater than y greater than is required so this side is required which i am covering with the scale and the lower side is unwanted region so i will shade the unwanted region which is this one so we can shade this unwanted region so we have shaded this then y is greater than equal to x y is y is equal to x is this line so y is greater than equal to x is wanted so unwanted will be this side so unwanted region we will shade i'm putting scale over unwanted uh, for unwanted shading and this is unwanted so we can shade this region basically this all region is unwanted so we can share this all unwanted region hopefully you are understanding everything now the last equation is x plus 2y is less than equal to 20 so it means uh, it's passing through 10 because this is 2y okay i will write it in y is equal to mx plus c format 2y is less than equal to x we can shift to other side so minus x plus 20 now this implies y is less than equal to minus 1 by 2x and plus 10 because this this is also divided by 2 so it is passing through 10 so the y intercept is this one so this is the line so less than is required so greater than we will shade and we can put scale over here and we can share this unwanted region as well and extra portion we can just always raise it so this is the required portion and region r we can identify like this one so this is region r because they are saying find and label the region r that satisfies the following so this is all uh, which we have done hopefully you understood this and then here comes question number 12 functions f of x is equal to 3 plus 4x and g of x is also given now we have find in its simplest form f of 3x so f of 3x will replace x by 3x so f of 3x will be equal to 3 plus 4 into 3x we have replaced x by 3x in this equation so x plus 12x this will be 3 plus 12x will be our answer so 3 plus 12x then f of g of x f of g of x g of x is this one so we can replace g of x by this 6x plus 7 so we will replace in this uh, x by 6x plus 7 so this will be 3 plus 4 into 6x plus 7 and now we can uh, open this bracket so 3 plus 24x plus 28 and this will be 28 plus 3 we can write 24x plus 28 plus 3 will be 31 so our answer will be here 24x plus 31 this will be our answer then here comes question number 13 two bottles and their labels are mathematically similar similar bottle 
contains this many liters of water and has a label with area so volume is given area is given of smaller bottle and larger bottle contains one liter so this is one liter so we can find the ratio we have to find calculate the area of the larger label we have to find so k conversion uh, factor for volume is always cube so k cube will be equal to 1 1 liter divided by this so 1 divided by 0 0.512 this will be our conversion factor and this uh, this will be equal to what if we check with the calculator so 1 divided by 0 0.512 this will be equal to 125 over 64 125 over 64 this will be the conversion factor for volume but we need uh, for uh, area so first of all we will find value of k by taking um, cube root of this one so uh, cube root will be uh, cube root is this one so uh, shift cube root of answer will be as 5 by 4 so k is 5 by 4 so this is conversion factor now we need area so for area we are using k square this will be 25 by 16 and now we are finding the area area will be equal to uh, this one 96 which is of smaller um, label multiply by 25 by 16 will be equal to this uh, we can uh, uh, right here 96 multiply by 25 over 16 and this will be equal to 150 centimeter square 150 uh, centimeter square will be the answer because this is area so centimeter square Question number 14, write the recurring decimal 0 0.63 recurring as a fraction in its lowest term. So we can take this one as x, x is equal to uh, 0 0.636363, we can write more number of times. So 100x, 100x will be equal to, we can shift this to 63.63. .63 so this will be 63 63 and this will be a recurring indication also then we can move two more parts so it will be one two three four x is equal to 63 63.6363 like that and then 100 we can 100x we can subtract which is 63.6363 recurring and now we can subtract and after subtraction so I'll move it above so this will be 9900x is equal to this recurring portion will be gone so this will be 6300 and we can write it as uh, x is equal to 6300 divided by 9900. We can cancel even this and the we'll answer will be x is equal to 63 over 99. So 63 over 99 will be our answer or what we can do we can simplify uh, by 9. So 97 are 63 and then 11 so final answer we can write it as 7 over 11 this will be our final answer then question number 15 find the value of x um, basically sign rule we can apply uh, side 24 over sign x this uh, divided by this will be equal to this 39 divided by sine of uh, sine of 71.8 degrees so this implies sine x we can shift to this side so sine x is equal to uh, 
24 into this will be sine of 71.8 degrees divided by 39 so this will be uh, now x will be equal to what x will be equal to sine inverse of uh, 24 sine 71.8 degrees divided by 39 so this value we have to basically find so we'll take sine inverse of um, uh, 24 sine of uh, 71.8 and divided by 39 and this bracket will be closed and this will be equal to 35.77 so our answer will be 35.77 degrees basically now question number 16 solve the inequality basically is simple question only two marks so we'll be shifting this x to this side and 7 to this side so it's 13 minus 7 will be greater than or equal to 3x minus x so this side will be 2x is less than or equal to this will be uh, 6 now we can divide by 2, this side also by 2, this is gone, this will be 3. So x is less than or equal to 3 and they are saying list the positive integers that satisfy the inequality A. So um, we, basically we can write here uh, x is less than or equal to 3 this one and then we have to list numbers which are 1. 2, 3 because they are saying positive so we cannot go less than 1 and equal to 3 also so we have included 3 as well. Now question number 17 this is vectors question. O is the origin this one and OP is OP is P, OQ is Q and Z is the point this one Z is the point basically uh, on PQ such that PZ is ratio PZ ratio z q is equal to 5 ratio 2 5 ratio 2 so it is divided into uh, 7 portions 5 plus 2 is 7 so 5 divided by 7 and 2 divided by 7 and work out in terms of p and q the position vector of z so position vector of z basically we have to uh, calculate if we draw what is required so this is the position vector which is required so oz is basically required and we can take this root op and pz so this will be required which we don't have pz if to calculate pz we will be calculating pq so uh, pq is equal to uh, minus p plus q minus p plus q this will be uh, PZ and for uh, OZ I'll move page a little above so that you can see properly this one so OZ will be equal to OP plus PZ um, PQ is this one okay good so OZ is uh, basically equal to OP plus PZ. This one OP, uh, OZ is equal to OP plus PZ. Now uh, PZ will be, we can write PZ is equal to 5 by 7 of uh, PQ. 5 by 7 of PQ. And PQ we know is this one, so we can write which is equal to uh, 5 by 7 of minus P plus Q. 5 by 7 of minus P plus Q. Now this value we will replace over here and OP we know is P, so this will be P plus this value 5 by um, 5 by 7 minus P plus Q this will be. Now we have to just simplify and if we open bracket P and minus this will be 5 by 7 P and next will be plus 5 by 7 Q and 1 minus 5 by 7 
वन माइनस फाइव ओवर सेवन विल बी इक्वल टू टू बाई सेवन सो वी विल राइट हेयर टू ओवर सेवन टू ओवर सेवन पी प्लस फाइव ओवर सेवन क्यू दिस विल बी आर आंसर टू ओवर सेवन पी प्लस फाइव ओवर सेवन क्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन द डायग्राम शोज अ स्पीड टाइम ग्राफ for the journey of a car so this is the graph given we have to calculate the distance and distance we know is the area under the graph so for area under the graph we can write distance is equal to area of this triangle 1 by 2 into base which is 20 into height which is 12.5 so 12.5 like this then plus area of this uh, rectangular shape this one so this will be what this will be this 220 minus 20 will be 200 200 multiplied by 12.5 so this one plus area of this triangle and triangle is 1 by 2 into base which is 280 minus 220 will be 60 into 12.5 that's all we have to just calculate with the calculator and we will get answer so 0.5 we can write as 1 by 2 and in bracket it will be 20 into 12.5 bracket close then plus this will be 200 into 12.5 and bracket close plus again 0.5 for this 1 by 2 and into 60 into 12.5 and this will be equal to 3000 so this will be 3000 meters will be distance Question number nineteen. Without using your calculator, work out this. So we can write this one as we'll we'll open the bracket. This will be three by four, and plus two by three, and then we can take LCM as twelve, or we can equalize the de denominator as you like. So I'm taking this one. So eleven minus this will be four. Three is a twelve, so it will be nine. Plus this will be three fours are twelve and four will be eight, and this will be equal to nineteen uh, minus nine will be ten, so ten over twelve, which is equal to five by six. So this will be the working which you will be showing, and you will be getting four marks. It's very easy question. Then question number twenty simplify six. W raised to the power one zero, uh, so this will be six. W raised to the power zero is means one, and this will be six. Answer will be six for this one. Then we have to simplify this as well. So x cube, so five minus three will be two. So two x cube will be answer. So we can write two x cube, and then this one we'll have to multiply three into five will be fifteen. And y raised to the power six minus two, so this will be fifteen y raised to the power four. So we can write here answer fifteen y raised to the power four. Question number twenty one. Solve the equation, basically quadratic equation. We have to solve, and we can apply formula a is equal to five, b is equal to ten, and c is equal to two, and we can. Uh, right, x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus four ac over two a. Always replace uh, values in brackets. So minus this one will be ten plus minus. I will move the page above. Now this one. So this will be b square mean ten square minus four a will be five and c will be two. A C over two A. Two into A will be five. So this one. Now we can use calculator for this. This will be minus ten, and we'll use plus. Then we'll use negative first plus. So this will be ten squared minus four into two will be twenty. Twenty into two will be forty. So we can write here forty divided by ten. This one. So this will be minus zero point. Uh, so minus zero point two two five, or 
which is approximately equal to minus 0 0.23 and the second value will be with the negative which one is minus 10 and minus under root 10 square minus 4 into 5 into 2 this one over uh, 2 into 5 and this one if we check calculator and change this plus sign into minus sign we will get this which is minus 1.77 so which is equal to minus 1.77 so we can write over here minus 0 0.23 and minus 1.77 these two will be our answers here comes question number 22 which is the diagram shows a cube which a b c d e f g h and of side length 26 so we can say this side is 26 this side is also 26 and height is also 26 calculate the angle between a g a g is shown this dotted line and the base base will be this one so which angle we have to find basically we have to to get the clarity we have to join AC and we will need angle between this and this one up to this so if I'll shade for your understanding this will be the portion hopefully you are understanding everything and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and press like button as well okay this is done so now we will be finding first this AC and AC by Pythagoras theorem we can find AC will be equal to 26 squared plus 26 squared and we'll take root and this will be equal to what this will be basically uh, 26 squared plus 26 squared will be equal to 26 under root 2 26 under root 2 is a angle angle to calculate angle this is for example this is theta so tan theta will be equal to gc over ac gc over ac which is equal to 26 over 26 under root 2 and this will be cancelled this this will be 1 over under root 2 and so theta will be equal to tan inverse of 1 over under root 2 and this one we can calculate um, inverse tan of uh, 1 over root 2 and this will be equal to 35.26 35.26 which is equal to 35.3 degrees basically so this is how we are dealing with this question then comes question number 23 simplify and this is so simple this uh, we can cancel with this square and the remaining part will be 4 into x minus 6 and then we can multiply this will be 4x minus 24 and we can write here 4x minus 24 as answer then expand the brackets and simplify three marks question so we will be expanding first so a, a plus b square you know a square plus b square plus 2ab a plus b squared is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab this is the formula which we will be applying on this portion so x square x square a square plus b square will be 4 square 16 plus 2 a b will be 8 x and then we will open bracket plus 15 x and plus 10 so this will be our uh, step then we will have to uh, simplify x square as it is 8 x plus 15 x will be 23 x 20 23 x and plus 16 plus 10 will be 26 
So this will be our answer x squared plus 23x plus 26. This will be our answer. Here comes question number 24. So in this question, Miracle invests this much amount for three years at a rate of 1.6 simple interest. So first we'll calculate for uh, Miracle. So interest for Miracle uh, will be equal to principal amount into uh, duration 3 into rate 1.6. So this will be equal to we can calculate this amount and this will be 2500 into 3 into 1.6 this will be equal to uh, divided by 100 also basically so PRT over 100 so divided by 100 this will be equal to 120 so this is basically the amount uh, the miracle will will get then they are saying Jacquez invests 2000 for three years at the rate of uh, this we don't know x percent per year compound interest at the end of three years miracle and jackers receive the same amount of interest same amount of interest it's not same amount it's same amount of interest you will have to be careful and so will be so it means that um, this one uh, Jacquez is also getting 120 interest and the principal amount is 2000 so he will get 2000 plus 120 it means 2120 amount he will get after three years and compound interest formula will apply that will be equal to principal amount into 1 plus rate which is x percent over 100 and raised to the power the amount uh, the duration so it will be 3 and now we'll be shifting this to uh, basically simplification divided by 2000 and then is equal to 1 plus x over 100 the raised to the power 3 and to get rid of this raised to the power 3 we will take cube root so it will be 2120 over 2000 and cube root of this one and we can uh, shift 1 also to this side, minus 1 and 100 also to this side, so multiply by 100, this will be equal to x and if we calculate this, this will be cube root, we'll put bracket first, then cube root fraction and 2120 and divided by 2000 and minus 1 and then bracket close and multiply by 100 so this will be equal to 1.96 so x will be equal to 1.96 calculate the value of x this is uh, percent per year so our answer will be this much percent per year so hopefully you understood each and every question. I'll be waiting for your comments. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe Maths TV and press bell icon so that you will be getting incoming uh, video intimation also. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.